So industrial policy, what's that? Is that something from the 80s? What is that? I think I've heard of that. So how I define industrial policy is any government measure that, alloc that encourages capital and labor to shift from one industry into another. Every country engages in this, whether they admit it or not, okay? And our country is no exception. If you think about it, this makes perfect sense. Some industries have greater potential for productivity gains than others. Others create more jobs than others. And then some industries are less detrimental than others. Let's think about fossil fuel, finance, uh, firearm industry. There are good reasons to not like some of these industries and to want to pull capital and labor away from them. Um, so as I said, the difference is some countries admit that they're doing this and some countries don't. Some do it systematically for the whole economy and some do it on an ad hoc basis uh, for whatever industry happens to give enough campaign donations uh, to elected officials. So it'll come as no surprise that the U.S. scores poorly on both of these points. We favor all sorts of industries but don't admit that what we're doing is industrial policy. And because of that, we've also had, we have also lacked systematic economy-wide planning. We got close under Alexander Hamilton, John Quincy Adams, FDR, and even Nixon and Reagan, um, but uh, every time a proposal was floated, every time a White House office was created on industrial policy, the same kinds of obstacles got in the way. Racism, sexism, uh, a conservative Supreme Court, a neoliberal economics profession. After all, if government engaged in planning and was successful at doing it, that would be a conservative nightmare to show that government can actually work. So it's worth underscoring, all of our economic competitors engage in industrial policy and planning. China famously has its Made in uh, China 2025 policy, but it's not just uh, a Chinese thing. Uh, either in the past or, in the, uh, or, or currently, France, Germany, Korea, the Netherlands, and other countries have engaged in some form of national planning. Uh, so how could we think about applying this here at home? I'll, I'd offer a few guiding principles. First, we have to reinvest in government. We've got to raise taxes on the rich and increase the public sector share of the economy. Build out, our modern, build out modern bureaucracies, research centers, and land-grant universities so that our best and brightest see public service uh, and planning as a viable career path. That means also being thoughtful about how our agencies are structured, how they do cost-benefit analysis, so that we can uh, more effectively move forward to address the existential threats that we're, we're facing uh, now and in the future, such as climate change. And that's the second point, sustainability. Uh, a modern industrial policy cannot invest in dirty industries. Decarbonization has to be at the center of what we do. Third, thank you. Third, we have to address equity and inclusion. A lot of times when we talk about industrial policy, the image that pops in our head is, is of a white guy in a hard hat. Um, that's part of it, but the, whole but the whole economy approach that I'm talking about is going to spend a lot more time uh, uh, thinking about sectors like healthcare, transportation, uh, that disproportionately employ women and people of color. Indeed, because a productive manufacturing sector is going to, by definition, always be shedding jobs, um, the service sector is where we're going to get a lot of our bang for our buck in employment terms. Fourth, this has to be a global strategy. China and Germany have an industrial strategy and the U.S. needs to have one of its own if it's going to be competitive. As supply chains have become increasingly extended across the globe, uh, we open up our economy to crippling external shocks. Um, so reshoring some of that production is going to be vital uh, if, we're, if we want to safeguard our economy and even our democracy. And then finally, the right has its version of industrial policy. We've seen senators talking about this on the right uh, in, in just this last year. Um, and, uh, and, it's the, and, and even the administration sometimes sort of engages in this, this discussion. But it's the opposite of what the right is doing uh, if, for, for an industrial policy that's going to be progressive. That progressive industrial policy is going uh, to not prioritize carbon intensive industries as some of the industrial policy proposals from the right uh, do. Uh, the, the right uh, industrial policy is the, the right wing industrial policy is not inclusive, and because the right simultaneously defunds and dismantles the administrative state, government won't be effective on executing on an industrial policy. So the way we afford this new policy approach, and this gets us back to point one, is to raise taxes and invest in industries that will provide a return to the public, so that we can actually execute on this policy going into the future. Thank you very much.